At the time he made The Goodbye Girl, Richard Dreyfuss's career was skyrocketing, thanks in large part to Steven Spielberg. Spielberg had recently given Dreyfuss big roles in a couple of movies that turned out to be pretty important. First Jaws in 1975, then Close Encounters of the Third Kind two years later. When those two movies became two of the biggest hits ever, Dreyfus's stock soared. And while this film didn't come close to the box office for Jaws or Close Encounters, The Goodbye Girl did earn Dreyfus a Best Actor Oscar. At the age of just 30, Richard Dreyfus became the youngest actor ever to win that award, a record that stood for more than a quarter century, until Adrian Brody won for 2002's The Pianist. Brody was just a few months younger than Dreyfus. By the way, the Goodbye Girl director Herbert Ross also earned an Oscar nomination that year, though not for this film, but for directing the drama The Turning Point. Coming up, we're going to take a break from today's 31 Days of Oscars celebration of Best Picture nominees to bring you an encore presentation of a TCM original documentary that we premiered earlier this month. It's a behind-the-scenes look at the Oscars over the years. Stay with us. Today on TCM's 31 Days of Oscar, we go for the gold with the documentary and the Oscar goes to. Then our Best Picture nominee marathon continues on the lamb with Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And if we play it, you will watch Field of Dreams. 